tell you how it all began I can tell you how the world was started I can tell you who made this land I can tell you now In the beginning God created Everything you see, yes God made it The birds and the animals, the flowers and the trees The sun and the moon, the rivers and the seas In the beginning God created Everything you see, yes God made it But His very best creation of all trees, the sun and the moon, the rivers and the seas. In the beginning God created everything you see, yes God made it, but His very best creation of all is you. Good morning everyone, let's pray. Thank you Jesus for keeping us safe throughout the night too. And thank you for not bringing us safe to this program from seeing on unseen danger. And please be with us that everything will go in order. And please be with the others that have to do a part. Please be with them let remember what they have to do. In Jesus name. Creation Story Day 3 God Made the Plants Grow When the dry land was separated from the water, God said, Let every kind of grass, seed-bearing plants, and fruit trees grow from the earth. Suddenly, the land was covered with different kinds of grasses, plants, and trees. There were short and tall green grasses. All kinds of plants with different flowers grew from the land. Tall big trees could also be seen everywhere. Some trees had no fruit, 
but many trees produced different kinds of fruits. When God saw the grass, plants, and trees that he had made, he was very pleased. It all took place on the third day. Dear God, thank you for making the world beautiful by making plants, trees, and flowers. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. W-E-L-C-O-M-E -E. Welcome! We all welcome you to our presentation on Creation Week Day 3. We hope you learn, enjoy, and be blessed. W-E-L-C-O-M-E -E. Welcome! And my song is entitled, You Are My All in All. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame, rising up again, I'll bless you. You are my all in all. When I fall down, you pick me up. When I am dry, you fill my cup. You are my all in all. Jesus. Scripture reading is found in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 1 verses 9 to 13. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of waters called his sea. And God saw that it was good. 
And he said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and the herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Amen. Hello everyone, my name is Anis Shafiq and I'll be sharing some interesting facts about trees. Windblown cotton seeds can stay airborne for days before they land. In fact, they can fly longer than any kind of tree seeds. The rings in a cut tree don't just reveal its age. They can also show signs of environmental changes, like a vol volcanic eruption or severe drought. Trees help improve our water quality as they slow and filter rainfall. No other organism on earth lives as long as a tree. A shade tree can help cool your home or office building by as much as 20 degrees. The astronauts on Apollo 14 carried tree seeds into space with them. Back on earth, the seeds sprouted and grew. Some trees seem to talk to each other. Willows, for example, emit certain chemicals when they're attacked by webworms. Other willows then appear to produce more tannin, making their leaves harder for the pest to digest. The biggest tree is a giant sequoia in California's redwood forest. It measures some 30 stories tall and 82 feet in circum circumference. California holds the record for the oldest living trees. Some of the state's bristol cones, pine, and giant sequoias are thought to be 4,000 to 5,000 years old. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tim Singh, and today I will be sharing with you on day 3 of creation. Let us pray. Dear God, please bless us as we listen to your words. Help us to draw close to you. We pray in Jesus' name, Amen. Our scripture reference was taken from Genesis chapter 1, verses 9 to 30. I will share it from the International Children's Bible. It says, Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered together so dry land will appear. And it happened. God named the dry land earth. He named the water that was gathered together seas. God saw that this was good. Then God said, Let the earth produce plants. Some plants will make grain for seeds, others will make fruit with seeds in it. Every seed will produce more of its own kind of plant. And it happened. The earth produced plants. Some plants had grain for seeds. The tree made fruit with seeds in it. Each seed grew its own kind of plant. God saw that this was good. Evening passed and morning came. This was the third day. On the third day of creation, God separated land and sea. He caused dry land to appear. God also created vegetation on the third day. The creation must have begun to take on a beauty and majesty. The creation of our world was done in an orderly fashion, leading up to its own completion. God was building a beautiful and healthy place that would eventually be ready for man. Have you ever thought about what the appearance of dry land will be? Will involve mountains, valleys, boulders, springs, rivers, waterfalls, caves, beaches, gravel, clay, sand. The list goes on and on. Every time we take a step outside, we can remember the power of an awesome God. With the formation of land, the water could now begin the cycle of evaporation and condensation. Not only was the creation of plant miraculous, it is a wonderful miracle of God that each living plant was created in such a way that it could reproduce itself through seed 
pollination, etc. Think of all the things associated with vegetation. Roots, stems, bark, leaf, grass, pollen, vine, seaweed, fruits, vegetables, flowers, oxygen, etc. Think of the smells and colors that existed by the end of the tour day. There is often a discussion as to whether or not the seven days of creation were literal days. As we know, 24 hour days. One thought from the third day is that plants need the sun to survive. How many hours could they have survived until the sun was created on day four? We do know that light was present, so they may have made some food. But we know for sure by just looking around that they did, ju- they did not just die before the fourth day. So back to our scripture reading that tells us that God made dry land on the third day. The land had very high mountains, rolling hills, flat plains, and valleys. Every part of dry land was beautiful. How many of you are glad that God made dry land? God was not done yet. He knew this beautiful land needed water, so God made sure the water was in all of the right places. He made big ocean and small lakes. He made small, gently flowing streams and big, powerful waterfalls. Then God looked around at the world he had made. He could see the blue sky filled with delicate white clouds. He could see the dry land that stretched out a long way and then rose into a high, dark mountain or dropped away into soft, pleasant valleys. He could also see the water flowing lazily across the flat dry land and rushing wildly down from the high mountains or just stretching out in giant pools called lakes and ocean. God was very pleased with what he had made. Everything was good. However, do you think God was finished with this world he was making? Oh no, he wasn't. That same day, God decided to fill the dry land with plants, so he made lots and lots of wonderful plants. He made grass to cover the flat openings and the deep valleys. He also made grass to grow on the mountains. He also made many kinds of flowers and bushes and trees and made them grow all over the world. Some of these plants were beautiful to look at and some of them grew delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. God still was not done. He had a, another wonderful plan. He gave all of these plants the ability to make seed and made it possible for the seed from each plant to make to grow into a brand new plant just like the one that made that seed and plants are still growing today just as God planned it in the beginning. I am grateful that God made our world so wonderful. We can still see the beauty of creation today. What gets me even more excited is that one day God will again make this world new. He says, For the old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. I cannot wait to see the beauty when God makes all things new again. What about you, friends? We thank you, Lord, for a wonderful program. Let us pray the course. Thank you, dear Lord, for everyone that is listening. And please bless them and keep them safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.
birds and the trees, the sun and the moon, the rivers and the seas. In the beginning.